This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen X, the man with the X-ray eyes, a sci-fi thriller from Roger Corman made back in 1963. It follows James Xavier, a doctor performing vision experiments, specifically increasing the range of the human eye, and being able to see light beyond whatever humans can normally see. He becomes his own test subject, successfully being able to look through physical layers, from sheets of paper to people's clothing. And as he continues to build upon this, he's able to see beneath skin and muscle. Of course, the danger in all of this comes to the protests of his friends and co-workers, leading to an altercation that pushes Xavier to go on the run all the while furthering his research and building upon his vision to see well beyond anything he may have ever intended to see. Having seen a handful of movies from Roger Corman in the past, this one stands out almost immediately by how much it actually sticks to developing its main storyline. Rather than set things up, linger in gimmicks or random scenes that have no importance, then wrap it all up in an unsatisfying manner. This film actually has a solid narrative through line from start to finish, with events that have actual lead-ins and payoffs rather than simply appearing for the sake of appearing. At its heart, it does still fall into a pretty standard story template, a sort of riches-to-rags cautionary tale about the dangers of unhindered scientific advancement characters themselves are also underdeveloped and fit more into general roles in Xavier's story. Being the main character, it's not a surprise that he's the one with the most development. And his rise and fall is also an excellent example of a mad scientist story, while also breaking away from the expectations of such characters. I'd also chalk up the rest of the film's story highlights to its general sense of foreshadowing and plot structure as well. Overall, this movie actually feels like something made by someone who had a story to tell. Which is what you're supposed to do, of course, but still felt unexpected given the production team. Speaking of which, the movie's technical elements do fall more in line with what I expected at the start. Though there is still more effort here to give the production some visual appeal and value. Sets are detailed enough and offer more than bare essentials, and all the locations themselves are pretty well varied, coming together to make this world feel bigger than you might expect. This idea gets pushed a bit further with outdoor shoots that effectively contrast the tighter interiors with larger, well-populated exteriors, and this greater idea of scale is strengthened further with a great amount of optical effects, effectively emulating Xavier's literal vision and its ongoing evolution, going from simple cuts and dissolves to outright playing with lights and filters to create otherworldly visions. Practical effects further sell this with physical changes to Xavier's body as his experiments continue, but saying anything more would be a spoiler. It's something you can see coming yourself, no pun intended, and it's ultimately a very small detail, but it's still kind of neat that the filmmakers went to such an effort to make the movie memorable in this way. Coupled with its well-handled story and plot, relatively speaking, the final film is definitely a surprise, and I'd say it's probably one of the better movies that Corman has ever put out. I haven't seen them all, though, so I can't say that for sure. X, The Man with the X-Ray Eyes, Roger Corman, 1963. Four stars. I definitely recommend giving it a watch. That's it for me. If you like this review, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. It's nice to be surprised every once in a while. Then again, maybe I just have low expectations for movies like this, and I should learn to be more optimistic or something. 
I don't know.